Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com, and today we are looking over M Transition Movie. Once you have installed M Transition Movie via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions. M Transition Movie comes with 50 unique transitions inspired by popular films that you may have seen. Now, if you would like to get a real time preview, you can simply take your cursor and scrub over each transition and it will show you how that transition may look over your footage. To apply M Transition Movie, you simply click and drag in between two clips, as you see here. Now, depending on the duration of your clips, you may be presented with the option here where when you let go, it is going to say there is not enough extra media beyond the clip edges. Simply click Create Transition and Final Cut will readjust the timing of your clips so that that transition will work between the two. So I'm going to delete this one right quick. Here you can see we have a really cool car chase sequence. We are going to quickly just apply some of these transitions. So I'm just going to pick some of them up and start selecting and dragging between these clips, creating transitions where necessary. And there you go. We already have a really cool sequence happening. So why don't we take a look at each of these transitions? So here we have our dissolve. We are presented with some on-screen controls that can really quickly adjust the direction and angle that our dissolve is happening. Over in our inspector, we can make adjustments to the angle as well. We have a transition mode with masked or full screen. Obviously with our full screen, it will just be a full screen dissolve style transition. So no need for the angle. We have a mask flip. So we are just flipping the direction that that is happening. We have our mask feather. So if we would like a really hard cut there, we can do that as well. Of course, I like the feather as is, so let's change that back. We have a feather fall off. We have a blur strength. So if you would like to add a good bit of blur within your transition, you can do that as well as changing the horizontal or vertical blur. And then we have a solid background color. So that is if you are transitioning, say, out of a clip, then that is going to show up with a background color. All right, moving down into our next transition here, we have the fast forward transition, which is really cool. We have a speed ramping section here that you can toggle on and off. And then we have these echoes. Now what these are creating are a sort of motion blur style effect happening. You can change the duration and the count of the echo as well as the decay. If you'd like your echo area to be really focused on the light parts of your clip, you have this light option. Or if you want them to really be focused on the dark parts of your clip, you can toggle over to dark and you can see how that looks. We're going to leave light since there is a lot of light areas within this clip. We then have a prism strength as well as our prism angle. And then we have footage saturation and brightness. Now this is desaturated a bit just to emulate that sort of fast forwarding video tape look. And then again, a background opacity. Really, really cool transition there. Our next transition that we have applied is our flash transition. 
you can see here that it does a very quick flash right into our next scene. The adjustable parameters here are really, really simple. We have a flash brightness here that you can slide for adjustments. We have a jitter strength slider. And then we have our blur. And again, our background color. The next transition that we are looking at here is our iris fade. Now this one is really cool. It comes with a bit more parameters. As you can see, we do have on-screen controls. Now this is going to be our target A, and then we have our target B here. So as you can see, we are starting in on our target A as this is closing. And then as we do our transition, we come in on target B here. So if we wanted to make our target B there on this car, and then maybe we have a target A over here on the policeman. So we are closing in on that policeman, opening up as we're behind our vehicle now. Over with our adjustable parameters, we have our target A and target B. If you wanted to adjust your X and Y here for the best fine tuning, you can. We have a footage movement section here. We have a footage scale. So you can see how that is making adjustments. We are kind of scaling in as it closes, scaling back out as it opens. We have our fade feather, so we can adjust how hard of a line or of a feather we want there. We have fade radius offset beneath, and then we have fade opacity, blur strength, and again, background color. I love this transition. I think it's really, really neat, and it's really simple to use with these on-screen controls. All right, we've got a few more clips here at the end of our timeline. Now, it's really important to use the transitions that are going to best make a difference with the story that you're trying to tell in your video. So here we can see this boxer uh, kind of making a jab there. And the next scene, the boxer that he's fighting is down. I'm going to bring this clip back just a little bit and I'm going to select my vacuum. I think this is a really cool transition here. So I'm going to apply it in between. It is almost like he got punched and then out of nowhere, he is down on the ground. So why don't we just go ahead and take a look at some of the adjustable parameters. We have our zoom mode. We can either zoom in or zoom out depending on what we want. We have a bulge strength here going to go back just a bit so you can see we have a bulge strength a zoom blur strength prism strength saturation brightness and opacity now these shots are a letterboxed version so due to the rendering there are some black bars but once this shot is rendered out those will be removed in the transition that those black bars are removed now and you are good to go so just keep that in mind if you are ever seeing that just render your transition out and the transition will fill those holes once again this is george edmondson with motionvfx.com we can't wait to see what you create with m transition movie now available be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one